and we now invite you to join us for part six of this series. Thanks to them that I have all this Christmas decoration. <laughs> Ever new, every day. <laughs> all I do is just go to Christmas tree and take it away. <laughs> it sounds like in Buddha's land. <laughs> yeah, people say in Buddha's land, the trees are full of jewels, you know? And then you just go and take what you want. But most people in Buddha's land, they have their own. Jewels, so they don't need it. But here I need it. <laughs> it's like a, like we call wish fulfilling tree, huh? Uh, I go to the tree and take some of this <laughs> and put it there, and take some of this and put it there. <laughs> yeah, and then I look like a princess, huh? Cheap princess though. <laughs> These things cost maybe a few dollars, you know, one one or two euros. Pretty cheap, but they do look real, huh? Well, they look like treasure, huh? Mm. Huh? Well, and this thing, <laughs> you know already, <laughs> from the tablecloth for Christmas, <laughs> left over, yeah? Yeah, and I told them to just uh, make uh, the color like this, and then uh, uh, there you are, you have it. <laughs> yeah, for fun, eh? Yeah, we don't always have to dress expensively, huh? But the SMTV, they were dressing up, huh? Wow, and we have nothing here. <laughs> tablecloth. <laughs> we have tablecloth or curtain. <laughs> Yesterday was the curtain, yeah. <laughs> the Christmas curtain. One of those, it looked like. Yeah. And today is a tablecloth, yeah. <laughs> I travel alone. I can't. I can't take too much stuff. Thanks to them that I have some clothes <laughs> to shy. <laughs> it's very easy, huh? They make it like two minutes, you know, just tuck tuck together. Yeah, this just look like a very royal, huh? <laughs> and star and moon all over. Yeah, look like an enlightened master, huh? <laughs> so shining. <laughs> Yeah, at least you guys can look at my shining outside when you don't see anything others, and you don't see any other shining inside. Yeah, it's for the children who doesn't see, <laughs> for the blind, <laughs> for all the shining stuff, <laughs> for the blind, <laughs> the one who don't see. In heaven, people don't wear many clothes. I mean, they don't wear the way we wear, huh? Their clothes are woven with light, yeah. And so the more elevated you are, the more shining your clothes are. Yeah. People measure each other by the shining uh, aura around a being, not by position. We are bedecking ourselves with all these, uh, you know, shining objects, because we remember once we were that shining. We were adorned with all kinds of beauty, glory, naturally. Yeah, when we were in heaven. So when we come down here, we feel we are so doom, so dark, no glamorous at all. So we start to decorate ourselves like the Christmas tree, <laughs> yeah, the example of which you are seeing right now. <laughs> I decor myself like a Christmas tree. Call this thing from Christmas tree. <laughs> These are hanging on a Christmas tree. Uh, yeah, and I'm hanging in here. Uh, why not? <laughs> First, I just try to see which one is more suitable for today. I try out one or two, and then later I'm too tired to remove them. I say, okay, I leave them all up. <laughs> why you can see I'm over decorated, <laughs> over shining. <laughs> but uh, the best mm, light come out from inside, huh? We all know that. It is a pity that people in the world, many of them, or some of them, do not see themselves, do not see what kind of aura they are carrying around them, 24 hours, 7, <laughs> and 365 <laughs> per year. Because if they do know what kind of aura they have, 
what kind of real clothes that they are wearing, despite their glamorous suit or evening gown or whatever, they will feel very, very ashamed. They will stop immediately what they are doing, maybe mostly wrong, <laughs> and they will begin to behave, begin to practice spiritual, seek a wise sage and wise counsel from the wise, from the elder, and begin to get in touch with their real heavenly self. It is a pity they don't see themselves. I wish I could make everybody see themselves, especially those of warlords and all that, because they are doing great harm, great harm to themselves, greater harm to themselves than to the victims of the war. The more they go into fighting, the darker their aura becomes, and they will envelop them forever if they don't remove it by some greater grace from heaven. And they'll be enveloped like this forever, till the day they die, and after the day they die, they continue in that darkness. It is a pity, because for all these uh, ephemeral possessions in the world, they are causing great harm to themselves. I mean, the planet can continue to exist, yeah, or can be destroyed. Or we have many other planets, numerous, countless other planets to be reincarnated upon. But the karma you cannot destroy unless you use the light of God, which they have it within themselves. But because of so much karma, bad karma they created, some of these people, the light is enveloped, you know, it cannot shine through. Every day they deepen themselves more in trouble, just because they don't see anything more than a few meters in front of them. If our wisdom eye is not open, no matter how great a telescope, <laughs> you can't see your own aura. <laughs> That's a problem. The telescope can enable us to see very far into the sky, into the firmament, and discover some very remote stars or planets in the universe. But we could not discover our aura. We cannot see ourselves. Isn't that amazing? So the only way to wake up and see ourselves is just through enlightenment and practicing the Kuan Yin method, the light and sound, which I have taught you. I still have hope for all the people in the world. That's why we're still hanging around <laughs> and we're meditating, yeah? That's why we're still trying to keep the planet so that they have enough chance, enough time to wake up and then maybe they repent and then they follow the truth practice to save themselves, to save their soul. Because after they die, there's nothing they can take with them. Everybody knows that. And I hope that one day everybody truly understands that. Not just knowing, but understand. That will be great. Huh? Et voilà. That's it. I thank you very much for everything in the program. I believe that animal foods cause the vast majority of human illnesses. The studies back it up. Neil Robinson, vegan. Knowledgeable viewers, we appreciate your company today for Happiness is Where the Heart Is, a New Year celebration with Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan. <laughs>